And it's Malik Smith that stands between Felix Pena and the improbable on a night that we got together to honor the memory of Tyler Skaggs. Taylor Cole started it. He retired six batters in his first two innings. Uh, when we got to the field, um, Carly, Tyler's wife, came to the field and we were told that she'd be there at like 5.30 and the game started at seven o'clock. And she came, she came in with her mom and some friends and uh, was able to just see everybody and to give, every, give everybody hugs and, and to just be a part of you know, that family there. But I remember hugging her and just feeling like, hey, you know, I'm just really glad. You know, I've been wanting to give you a hug and just to see you, you know. And uh, I think that she felt the same with the Angel family and our team. Just she even said to me, she said, Taylor, just it makes me feel closer to Tyler being around the team. And then, you know, Debbie was able to throw out the first pitch. That's Tyler's mom. It wasn't high or low. It was literally right down the middle. It was like. If you were to say make a, the perfect pitch, that was it. Uh, it was pretty special. I'm getting chills now thinking about it. You know, of course, I'm just, you know, warming up and getting ready for the game. And I remember just even starting to throw, like getting a little, you know, teary eyed and just emotional about the whole thing. And I just remember getting out to the game um, and just kneeling behind there and, and just saying a little prayer, you know, and just almost talking to Tyler you know just say hey you know just be there with us today you know and so and then i touched my hand on on the on his number got up there and and pitched and you know um those two innings went pretty quick taylor cole on the night that the angels family recognizes um but i i started to get like this if it like what if like that that question you know in like the sixth and the seventh and then it was just like dude if this happens like you just can't make this stuff up you know, this is, this is like divine. 76 is grounded to short. Handled to Simmons, has it. On the first base, a 1-2-3-8. Three outs away from the Thirteen to nothing, Angels. Obviously, you knew that Tyler was there that day. When Trout hit that home run, you're right, it was 454 feet. You know, his, Tyler's number was 45. Like, there were some, some plays that were made that were just amazing, like, um, Matt Theis made an, a, a diving play at third base that like the ball was like behind him. And I mean, that's a guy that hasn't even played third that long at all. And uh, to make that play and some other great plays throughout the day, like it just worked out so magical. A one out walk in the fifth of Mac Williamson. This was lifted out to right center field. Trout, Calhoun, Mike Trout calling for it in front of the track. There's the first out of the ninth inning. Like Smith at the top of the order. Little dribbler. Pena off the mound, fires the first, two down. This is ground ball to second base. Red Heifel falls down, picks it up, fires the first. The Angels have no hit. The Seattle Mariners. Yeah, I don't know if anything will ever match up to that because, uh, you know, when you do something as a family, as a team, you know, for your brother like that, you know, we wanted to, like, there's nothing that we felt like we could do really to, like, give back to Skaggs' family, but I think that if there was anything, that's probably one of the best things that could have happened is that, like, if somebody was to say, hey, like, there's a day to throw a no-hitter or do something special, like, today's the day, and it happened. This Los Angeles Angels franchise has just hit the Seattle Mariners on the night. We honor the memory of Tyler Skaggs, and now, the 45 jerseys being placed on the mound. This is absolutely indescribable. This is the most amazing moment I've ever seen. And then to put the jerseys on the on the mound was just super cool. I don't think it was really expected. It just happened the way it did. Um, it made for a night that just like everybody could sit back, watch, and just realize that you know this game is bigger than, than just a game. You know, it's there to bring people together, to heal people. Uh, and I think that that's what, well, definitely what was needed at that time for all of us.